what kind of VTuber do you want to be? Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, wait, wait a minute. This isn't about 2D or 3D? <gasps> wait until the next slide. No, this is something different. This is a concept that I have been talking about for years, but I've, I haven't had a chance to make a video on. I plan on making a video that's a much more detailed and documented on this. For now, since this is a beginner's course, I simplified it. You said that you've never heard of this before, May. That's because I'm literally in the one who came up with this. I've inspired from a couple of theories that I've seen online, like a couple of quotes and stuff, but overall these, everything that you're gonna see on this entire like, class is all my original ideas. I have a theory about there being four layers of VTubing. In fact, I think there's even more than four layers. I'm still researching about this, but I simplify these layers into two categories. What kind of VTubers are there? We have what I call the classic VT, classic VTubers, and then the modern VT, the modern VTubers. Classic refers to the literal translation of what a VTuber was when it was coined back in the day with Kizuna Ai, which is virtual YouTuber. That means they focus heavily on making traditional YouTube content and developing their lore. They are what you can be considering a character, a persona, they have kayfabe, they have a whole world around them. They focus on making just content, content that is involved around their lore. That doesn't necessarily mean it might be a lore video, but it's how does this character play Dark Souls? How does this character talk to, I don't know, Wendy's if they were talking to a corporation or something? That is a classic VTuber. So modern VTuber, modern VTuber refers to a virtual streamer. Now, some people like to say that, oh, well, they shouldn't call themselves a VTuber. And I disagree with that. I think VTuber is an umbrella term that has many variations because it's a subcategory of faceless content creation, which we will talk more about later. But modern VTubers is what I believe to be mostly streamers, but they're virtual streamers. They focus heavily on making live stream content and their VTuber being an extension of themselves. This is where you would see more of the, I use my VTuber model as an outlet to make the content I enjoy doing. I want to do more like live streaming stuff. Whatever happens kind of happens. It can affect my lore per se. Now, this is not black and white. Like I said, I simplified my layers of VTubing theory into two categories. There are definitely nuances. There are definitely live stream VTubers who play a character, have lore and stuff. And yes, even the classic VTubers also live stream. But when you think of the grand scheme of just how you see VTubing now, like if you're brand new to VTubing, I'm sure you've watched some some VTubers who are live streaming and they don't really talk about their lore. They're just kind of like a cute anime girl on screen and they do cute things. That's more of the modern VT. Whereas the classic VT, they are very in tune with their lore. Their lore almost in a way is the guideline to how they behave in a content creation space. But they do also live stream. A lot of them actually live stream daily as well. For the modern VTubers, this is more like a really interesting way to be a content creator and express yourself in a way that you can't normally do it. That's more why I generalize those categories. Hopefully that makes sense. Wow.